All right, so go. Go. Recording. Hi, I'm across the road from the Murrumbina Sky Rail Station, in front of this enormous wall, and my name is Anthony Breslin, and on this wall I want to do an epic project based on a story from my children's book, Brazania, the story of Big Frog. It's a story of children mainly to follow their dreams in their life. And I'm doing this to turn it into a giant mural for the community. So that means um, it's 480 from the roof to the ground, correct? Yep. Cool. So for every this is on for every meter there'll be two artworks. Because so that's a meter from there to there. Hundred centimeters. Um, there'll be an artwork at forty centimeters, a gap of ten, an artwork at forty, and a gap of ten, and that equals a meter. Cool. So for every meter we'll get two artworks. Alright. Roughly. It's not a, it's, they're not a characters that you really need to pre-sketch or pre-plan, but I guess you have it in your head what type of shape you want off each as you're going. Yeah, some will be fatter, some will be skinnier. Mm. Yeah. And then you have one big eye and one small eye. It just makes his personality, you know, more individual. Well, yeah, right. We'll have layers in his body. Because I'll start off with this kind of paint, which is a sheen, mm -hmm. um, acrylic, so it's going to dry a bit flat, and then I'll build it up to gloss. Mm -hmm. So he'll really, and then I have a spots on his back, and so he'll really jump off the background. Like you didn't do the background brown, then a lily pad, then the frog. You've actually just kept, you keep it, so it pops off the wall. Yeah. Which is so great, I think. Like, yeah. Which has a better effect, I, I think. think it does. It's, it's a lot more direct. So I might do that one now, and then I'll fill this one in. It was a daunting yet exciting experience over one and a half years. There were only a handful of people that I'd met, a couple that I'd heard of, and it was an interesting get-together because as someone who's a passionate artist myself, uh, it was new to me to work with a, a group of unknowns in a, on such an important project. And so you need to be, you need to have an open mind and an open heart. And I think everyone came to the table with that. Fourth of May. He's here. He's got his skirt on. He's already put in six pieces. He's getting started. You can't stop this man. Have you got a license to do what you're doing? No. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Good quality control, are you, Ant? <laughs> Good quality control, are you? <laughs> you, you? You can tell us. You can tell us if it looks a little bit out of alignment. <laughs> yeah. We we'll have to break up the kind of geometric sequence. So um, I reckon see the, the line of this. We're gonna have to come across ten in from here. Yeah.
bringing uh, the story big frog to Murrumbina, which of course is the only place that it could be because of the connection with the name, was such a huge gift to the Murrumbina community and I think they welcomed it with open arms. But ultimately I loved the day that we actually launched it because then it, it was something that we'd been working on for so long with so much focus was shared with the community officially, recognising uh, Anthony's huge gift available to all um, at any time of the day. It was an amazing experience, the whole Arabina project from start to finish, given the number of medical and health experiences Anthony went through during that period of time. The transitions that he had between the Alfred place uh, and the retirement village and the, the Burringer studio and Elston Wick as well as the number of people that came and left during that whole project and it is to this day amazing that we're able to stand tall, just remain connected, remain strong friends and still to this day, 